Hi, this is Joe, and these are key lessons. It's this stuff, look! Okay. If you ask a lot of players what starter deck they recommend you should pick up when you're starting out, a lot of them will rattle off a few older starter decks that have good staple cards in it. That is to say, cards that are good for most deck building. For example, everyone likes to recommend Rising Broly, the set 6 starter, because it has a good super combo in it. Well, one problem with that is starter decks like that are pretty hard to find right now. And another thing is, it's a set 6 starter and we're up to set 10. Now, I'm not saying it's not good and that you shouldn't seek it out, but for now, if you're just starting out, you just want to learn and have fun. So what I'm getting at is, for your first starter, you really want to buy one of the newer ones. Why? Well, first thing you want to consider is do you want to be able to keep up with what everyone else is playing? If you're playing a deck of old cards, you're going to have a hard time against people playing the most current meta. You are also, hopefully, going to want to expand your deck and make it better. And you're probably going to want to buy the newer cards. So if you want to have synergy with the starter deck that you bought, you're going to want to have a starter deck that goes with the boosters that you're going to be buying. With the release of set 10, we have three new starter decks. The blue Vegito deck, Spirit of Patara, the green Freezer deck, Clan Collusion, and the black Vegex deck, Saiyan Wonder. Vegex, if you don't know, is a fusion between Vegeta and Trunks, which I really find disturbing. Think of all the implications of fusing with your father and then getting his memories. If you're new to Dragon Ball Super, but you've played other card games in the past, you might have a feel for what kind of decks are your style. So, the basics of the decks are Vegito is a defensive control deck, Freezer is hand destruction, and Vegex is aggro. And one thing about Vegex is it cannot lose to Mill, so there's a selling point right there, because everybody loves Mill. If you're a brand new player, I think the most important factor when choosing a starter deck is which one are you going to enjoy the most. This is a factor not taken into account by most people when they recommend a deck. We as a community love our game, and we want new players to stick around, so I think the most important way to make that happen is for you to enjoy your first experience with the game. Here's an example to give that further context. If you've ever taken up snowboarding, you know that the first day you're going to spend most of it on your ass and the slightest incline will look scary as hell. But the next day you start to feel more and more confident and then you eventually can do tricks and go down black runs. And so too with starting out in a card game, especially if you haven't played another one before. You have to expect that you're going to lose a little bit when you first start out and you're going up against seasoned players who have been playing week in and week out while you're still learning what your cards do. And so you're going to want to walk, not run. Don't go spending money on singles yet. Grab a starter and get used to the game first because if you splash cash on the best deck, if you still lose after spending that much money, you're going to get discouraged. And there's a lot more to winning than playing the best deck. So what starter should you get? Well, honestly, I think you should just get the one you like the look of the most. Yes, the look. Forget what they do. Choose which one has your favourite character, which one has the card art that you like the most. Because it will help you warm to the game more if you choose a character you like than the so-called best deck that is a character you hate. So let's open these up and have a look at what comes with. Alright, first we'll open up the Vegito starter. Okay. What do we got? We've got the Gogeta Unison card. Now this card's pretty cool because if you have him in play and you have a, Saiyan, a blue Saiyan battle, in, battle card in rest mode, your leader card won't be able to cop damage. It's a very good defensive card. Now we've got the leader card, Vegito. Very nice foiling on this boy. The second copy of Gogeta is foil as well, but not as detailed as the first one. And we've got the one drop Goku, the two drop Vegeta, and the one drop Trunks. And then the second copies of each. And then we've got a few counters. Gohan battle cards come into rest play come into play in rest mode, which is exactly what you want with this strategy. My Trunks' girlfriend is a blocker. 
best negate for blue, no doubt. Now, why is this boo in the deck? I'm not sure. Good counterplay. Krillin, stop your opponent from uh, untapping energy. And you got a new set 10 super combo, Gohan. One drop Vegeta. Now this Trunks, you don't get his full effect because he's ne he needs his leader to be Trunks, but he still works for the deck. And more my cards. Alright. Next we'll open Freezer. So, Freezer's Unison. His Unison is pretty solid. It's got a built-in defense at the expense of your leader's life. It's not really my play style, but other players aren't as precious as me protecting their life, so there you go. There's the leader. Very good looking. Second copy of his unison. And we've got Captain Ginyu, Zarbon, Dodoria. Now, yellow cards. If you're, if you're new to the game and you're uh, used to the concept of having two colors in the same deck, the reason Freezer comes with yellow is because you can use this card, Freezer's Call, it's a card from set one, and this card, Cold Bloodlust. Very good card. If you, if you got a Freezer leader, you might as well run it. You got Shocking Death Ball, good negate. Yamcha the Cunning does the same thing as Krillin basically. This new ten set ten freezer card. Another new set ten card. And then we've got Ginyu Force Lads, Modadoria, Zarbon Super Combo, and Freezer with a ball in his chest. Alright, last but least, we've got the one that everyone's talking about, Vajex. Vajex is the deck that everyone's predicting will be the best deck of the set. So take that as you will. Alright, we've got the Gotenks Unison. This card comes out for free if you mill it, so works perfectly for the deck. And Vajex, the man. Trunks and Vegeta as one. And we've got Starter Deck exclusive Vegeta, Trunks, and Supreme Kai of Time. Now, most of this deck is black, but we've got this red card. The aim isn't to play it, it's to combo with it, because it gives anything you combo with a double strike. So Attack with a critical, and then make a double strike. And then negate. Time Patrol Kanara. And yes. This annoying card, I hate it. Don't play it against me, please. Now that you have a deck, you probably want to get down to your local card shop and start playing in tournaments. But you're going to want to improve your deck first. You can of course play the deck straight from the box, but you're better off if you improve it a little bit first. The first thing to consider is to buy a second copy of the same deck that you just bought. The reason to do so is each starter deck comes with two copies of each starter exclusive card. So to get a full playset, you're going to want to buy two copies of the deck. You cannot pull these cards anywhere else, they're a starter deck exclusive, and odds are, to make the deck work as best as possible, you're going to want to run four. Next, you might want to buy some booster packs. I would strongly suggest set 10, Rise of the Unison Warrior. That's the set that these starters are from, and it's the most recent set. You can, of course, use older cards as well, but you're just starting out, so let's go simple and go with the most recent set. If you have done your research on cards that you want to put in your deck, 
you could go buy singles or trade for them. But keeping in mind that you're a new player and perhaps are just testing the waters before spending too much money, what cards should you be on the lookout for then? Well, if you went for the Vegito deck, you're going to be wanting to put in blue Goku, Vegeta and Trunks cards. There's also Bulma and my cards that work with the deck as well. You might even consider swapping out the leader for the Trunks leader that comes in the set if you end up pulling the good cards that go with him like the blue unison supreme card out of time. If Freezer is your deck of choice, you'll be wanting green cards. The important thing to note about Freezer is you can't put any Saiyan cards in this deck, so if you pull some good green Goku cards, put them aside, they can't go in. Set 10's green cards also include a Ginyu archetype, and although this Freezer deck has Ginyu cards in it, the ones in the set are more designed for the Captain Ginyu leader, so you're probably not going to want to put them in. There are, however, some Dodoria, Zarbon, and Freezer cards that are in the set. They'll go well with this deck. There are also some good green Unison cards. The green Bardock, although technically the character is a Saiyan, Unison cards don't have traits, so therefore he doesn't count as a Saiyan card, and you can put him in. The starter deck also has a little bit of yellow in it, but none of the set's yellow cards go with the deck, so don't worry about that. So what to do with the yellow that is in the deck? Well, I'd say let it in. Splashing yellow lets you play Cold Bloodlust, a set one card, which is amazingly good. So good that they limit it to only one per deck. And so, you believed the hype and went with Vegex. Well, just like Vegito, we have a deck based around a fusion character without the actual fusion character in it. So we are going to be wanting Vegex battle cards and maybe some more Trunks and Vegetas. But be careful to note that to do the fusion, the character name has to have Xeno in it because it's specifically Vegeta Xeno and Trunks Xeno. Now, there are black cards in this set that won't work with this deck. They're designed to be support for other decks. But what a lot of people are doing are using the Majin Buu cards and the Universe 3 cards from previous sets. But again, that could be something you look into once you're a bit more into the game. So there you have it. All great decks. I'm personally going for the Vegito deck because I'm a control player and I've been wanting to make a deck with this character work for a while now. Let me know which deck you went with and how you're enjoying the game. And if you enjoyed this video and you want more tips, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, and follow me on Twitter. I've been Joe and these are Key Lessons.